But, you know, Rahul Shavasa, we've seen, this is classic playbook of what goes down. We've seen it happen over and over again. Um, earlier on, when Rahul Gandhi was on a visit to America, he'd made certain statements. And back home, politically, it was projected as an attack on India. But on the other hand as well, he has raised certain issues, which even by the court of law in India, be it the Pegasus issue, has been clear. I think, I think this whole idea about a leader's statement hurting the image of a country on foreign soil, I think, is, I think is slightly exaggerated. I think what is more important is that on crucial issues, uh, when it comes to the uh, global high tables, there is a greater sense of unity within India, be it, say, China, Pakistan, or Ukraine, Russia, and others. I think what is happening, if you, if you see Rahul Gandhi, there are several instances in the past where the BJP will say that he has attacked uh, India or hurt India by attacking the government. And there is a whole list. Uh, if somebody goes out to the India Today website, they will read that there are seven uh, such instances in the past, be it uh, in London, UK, Germany, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, US and other places. But if you look at it on the same hand, there is also uh, several instances right since 2014 where Prime Minister Narendra Modi, when he was speaking on foreign soil, he attacked the opposition. Uh, say, for example, I was there, I heard it in Madison Avenue uh, in New York, when Prime Minister said that there are a lot of you who might not have voted, but when the results were coming in, you were celebrated. Uh, then in Toronto in April 2015, uh, 15, Shanghai in uh, 2015, May 2015 in Seoul, UAE, August 2015, Muscat Oman, 2018. The Prime Minister also done it. What is really happening is, this is politics. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Rahul Gandhi have this luxury of having a foreign soil to attack each other and set up a battle between each other. Now, what actually they are doing is acupressure. It's, one can draw from there. Rahul Gandhi, when he goes abroad, he knows that there are certain platforms which for well-intended reasons or otherwise do offer him an opportunity to say what he wants to say. These are pressure right. points being operated by those people, plus Rahul Gandhi, for a domestic audience. PM goes abroad. He uses the NRI, non-resident Indians and others, to attack the opposition to send it out. Another pressure point, uh, political signals. I think, I think we should not be bothered about the idea of India getting impacted, because right, right now, India is on a roll, given the global situation. Well, you know, fair point. I want to bring in for a quick comment then, uh, uh, Anila and Tehseen back into this conversation. Anila Singh, look at it this way as well, you know, one would suggest that uh, when George Soros went out and uh, attacked the government, attacked the Prime Minister, the Congress actually told him to butt out and said that, listen, we can handle our affairs. We don't need a foreign businessman to come in and speak for us. So they did, uh, you know, uh, come together on that. On the other hand, Rahul Gandhi is a political leader. He is an Indian. And for him making a statement in India or abroad, why does it become an attack on India then? See, when you are talking about the democracy of our country, when you are talking about the financial condition of our country, and when you, do, when you are talking about uh, the leader, the leader, which is the most popular leader in whole of the world, we know it very well, uh, so perhaps Rahul Gandhiji is very rattled and I will say it is attack on our country. Like if Mr. Shirasa might be having some different point of view, he has got all the rights according to the constitution of our country because every time we discuss whether we talk about Mr. Poonawala or Mr. Shirasa, like, uh, they say, ye adhikar hume samvidhan ne diya, bilkul bisat samvidhan ne diya. Perhaps Rahul Gandhiji is in depression the way Congress has performed in Northeast states. Once again, Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji has proved that he's a fantastic leader and he knows how to win elections and how to get your country on right track. Okay, Preeti, I just want to say one more thing here. Like, uh, uh, if, if we talk about any country, what is the critical factor for the assessing a country or a political party? Let's talk about the country. It's the economic philosophy uh, and its economic vision. So, can you deny this fact, the way our country is going ahead, we have become the fifth uh, strongest okay. economy in the world and by 2030 right. will be I just want to bring in Tehseen for a quick so comment before we wrap up the show. Tehseen, you know, 
on issues such as Pegasus. Now, in August last year, Supreme Court appointed committee did look into the allegations. Nothing came out of that to rake up Pegasus, uh, to call Kashmir a state, then to say that there is insurgency. You know, it's far from insurgency what had happened in Kashmir. Right. So just on the Pegasus issue, let me clarify, Preeti, uh, because I know a lot of people who were directly involved were people who were very close friends of mine whose phones were hacked. The most honorable Supreme Court said in Britain, in Britain, Preeti, that the present union government did not cooperate with the Supreme Court appointed committee. The Supreme Court said it did not cooperate, hence they couldn't come to a conclusion. Let's be very clear. The government did not cooperate with the most honorable Supreme Court. That's how scary this is. And Preeti, not just my friends, colleagues of yours have been alleged, alleged that their phones were hacked or were looked into. Now, let's come to the more substan uh, substantive issue. I understand he's the leader for Anil right. Asimji. I understand he's the leader for a lot of people. And I respect that. But I don't think he's the leader for me. He's my prime minister. I respect him. But till my last drop of blood, I will oppose him because that's my democratic right. And I will oppose him on every forum. And okay. I don't think just because he happens to be the leader for Anil Asimji, she can tell me I cannot speak about his economic policies, which quite frankly, I think have been regressive. While India okay. has grown in the large GDP, the per capita income has not grown. Now, there are a lot of things I can... We All can right, so that's into. a separate and debate. But so the fact is, one okay. second, just one last line. Just one last thing. The fact is that both the most honorable prime minister and Rahulji are political animals and they will make political statements. And you must encourage political statements, not discourage okay. it by saying somebody is supreme leader, so right. you cannot talk about it. You must encourage him. Okay, that's with that, I'm going to end the debate.